stop playing with people's lives in eastern Ukraine, Germany tells Russia. Here's a summary of the article. Brussels, German Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock accused Russia on Monday of playing an irresponsible game with the civilian population of eastern Ukraine and urged it to return to the negotiating table. I urgently call on the Russian government, on the Russian president, don't play with human lives, Baerbock told reporters after arriving for a meeting of European Union foreign ministers in Brussels. The responsibility lies with the Russian government which is why I call urgently on the Russian government, come back to the negotiating table. It is in your hands. The EU foreign ministers will discuss the situation in Ukraine after France said US President Joe Biden and Russian President Vladimir Putin had agreed in principle to a summit over Ukraine. Western countries say a Russian troop buildup near Ukraine is a prelude to an invasion, but the EU is supporting the latest attempt to arrange further talks, the bloc's foreign policy chief Josep Borrell said. Summit meetings, at the level of leaders, at the level of ministers, whatever format, whatever way of talking and sitting at the table and trying to avoid a war, is badly needed, Borrell said in Brussels. French European Affairs Minister Clement Bone told LCI TV on Monday that no date had been set yet for a summit. This post received a score of 11,000, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Russian government doesn't give a single fuck about lives of average Russian citizens so why would they care about Ukrainians? I read recently that 20% of Russians don't even have indoor plumbing. You leave major cities, and it's nothing but villages. The country is massive. So lots of those type of places where the government just doesn't give a fuck. No. Putin just doesn't care in general. He only wants power and power is what he will try to get. I guess the Germans have some feelings about being ruled by Russia. They were ruled by the commies and the Nazis. Oh no. See commie Nazis. McBain to base, under attack by commie Nazis. This advice applies to all politicians on this planet. I live near a major city, and while my so and I were doing our weekly grocery trip a couple days ago we were talking about the news and about how weird it is knowing that there's likely some control room in Russia with our city as a target and at the mercy of some people we've never met and don't care about. Like I couldn't shake the thought of some flash and explosion wiping us out while I'm just in the middle of chasing her around the produce section with a chunk of ginger up my sleeve so it looks like I have a gnarly little hand. So many people just trying to live their silly innocent little slices of life, but constantly at the mercy of some meta story where there's an international pissing contest that's been going on forever. I know this isn't some new thought or anything, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating to think about. That was beautifully put. In turn, I wish there was some magic button we could push to make the international pissing contest end. I don't care about borders. I don't care about oil. I don't care about selling weapons to insecure man children on the other side of the world. I do care that you get to keep chasing people around with ginger fingers. I know how to achieve world peace. It involves me convincing everyone I'm a wizard from another dimension. And see, I'm such a powerful wizard, I don't even need to use any magic to convince people that I'm wizard. You just have to have a conversation with me. Jesus tried that already. Exactly. I'm Jesus' sidekick. Me, Jesus, the Prophet Muhammad, and God are all here to save the world, time doesn't exist so it's all happening at the same time, by telling stories. We're called the plot hole jumpers. Go sit in the corner, Putin. Germany should put its money where its mouth is, cancel Nord Stream 2, send heavy weaponry, e.g. anti-tank systems, to Ukraine, and threaten to nationalize all oligarch-owned properties if Russia invade. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.